bastard things. Oh, uh, do you need something? I do, though not from the forge. Fanit asked me to speak with you. She's looking into the cause of your father's illness and wondered if you could shed any light on the matter. I see. Sorry. She shouldn't have dragged you into this. It's no trouble, really. Tell me, did your father do anything out of the ordinary before he fell ill? Not that I know of, but then I hardly see him. He's always out and about, like. Well, at least he was. Suppose he might have been a bit more fidgety than usual, but apart from that... When you say out and about, where does he usually go? Just round the village. Wanders over to Blazia's place most days. He's a fisher who lives on the other side of the fount. They're old friends. Maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe. I'll go and speak with him. The child. If we pick too many of the flowers, they won't. Stranger, what can I do for you? Your name is Blazir, is it not? Pavard tells me you're a friend of his father's, and that the two of you may have spent some time together prior to his illness. His illness? Talor's never been ill a day in his life. I don't know why he'd start now. Oh, Fanny doesn't know either. It was she who asked me to look into his recent behavior on the... Off chance it might explain how his condition arose. Oh, uh, I suppose there was something that struck me as a bit odd. He kept asking about the woods. Did you see anything strange on your way back from the shore? Are you certain? Do you swear? That kind of thing. I didn't, of course. But he wouldn't let it go. It was like he was expecting something to happen. It was just a matter of when. Not that I know what, but he never told me anyway. Well, that certainly does sound unusual. And it might just be what Fanet is looking for. Thank you. I don't mention it. Oh, and when you say to law, uh, wish him the best from me, eh? Let's see what the healer makes of this. Oh, ceaseless rill, guide thy bounty. <coughs> I spoke with Werder, but she couldn't tell me anything. Did you have any better luck? Nothing conclusive. But there was one thing. Blazir, the fisherman told me that Talor had taken a sudden interest in the forest of late. He kept asking him if he'd seen anything unusual there on his way back from the coast, but never let on what exactly he was expecting him to have seen. The forest between here and the coast? Surely not. But then... But then... I can't say for sure. But I think Talor's illness might have some connection to the Tomberies. You may have encountered them during your time here. The small, scaly beastmen. And you think they may have caused Talor's illness? I do. At least in a way. And if I'm right, it's no wonder the treatments I've been trying didn't work. Oh, I know it's a lot to ask, but would you go down into Father's Fell for me? There's an altar there. And if my fears are true and offering upon it, 
What is going on here? Please, I'll explain everything when you return, but time flows fast. I beg you, make haste for Father's Fell and take the offering from the altar. Talor's life may depend on it. Very well. things. Then once everyone left me in peace. Before we turned east at the shipwrecks to reach the coast. Now we must head in the opposite direction. Left it is then. Beastmen is that they love to hide in the dark. What are they up to? Some sort of ritual. Sorry to disturb you. Let's see what's on this altar, then. A silver chain. I doubt the Tombrys made it. This must be what Fennet was talking about. Sign of the child. <sighs> You're back. Well, did you find anything? I did. This silver chain. I knew it. Well, I'm still none the wiser. Forgive me. This chain. It's a Gregorian Matanoster. Worn by men of the faith? What's it doing here? A and why would the Tombrys be praying to it? To understand that, you need to understand what the Tombrys are. They feed on hatred and suffering. And some say that if you render them an offering, some token of grievance against your fellow man, they will put a curse upon him. So you think someone's put a Tombri curse on Talor? I... 
I can't say for sure. Truth be told, I always assumed it was an old wives' tale. But given his fear of the forest and the presence of the chain on the altar, I don't know what else to think. Does Talor have any enemies in the village? Anyone who would nurse such a grudge? No. No, I believe the one who left the chain at the altar was Talor himself. <sighs> I beg your pardon. But there's more to the tale, you see. It's said that if you attempt to curse a soul that has returned to the sea already, your ire has nowhere to go but back to its source. You're saying he cursed himself? In trying to curse another, I. When my father was younger, he was one of the few permitted to venture beyond the wall on trading expeditions. He told us that when he journeyed to Sandbreck, he'd wear that chain to disguise his true beliefs, lest Grieger's faithful turn their cudgels on him. Did they ever catch him in his deception? Might that explain the ill will he bears someone? Not that he ever told me. Come now. Let's not waste time speculating about Talor's past. We need to focus on the present, and that means finding a way to break the curse. All right. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Thank you. I shall. Aye, and thanks for going to all this trouble. Here, it's not much, but I, I want you to have this. We call it an adder stone. It's a gatherer's charm. Reacts to certain rare minerals we use in crafting. Makes them ring out like a bell. Stuff you'd have no chance of spotting otherwise. If you find anything, see that you bring it back to me. I can make you some decent gear with it. If you're interested, like. I am, thank you. And I'll be sure to pay you a visit. Until then, I wish your father a swift recovery. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. A good tide to you. 